Welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie Ryan. In this space, I will be sharing my process of how to make art a sacred practice. I will share my painting techniques, guide you through painting meditations, and introduce you to energy tools that you can use to support and grow your own art practice. Hit subscribe below and step inside this peaceful space created just for us. Let's paint together. As we begin here, I'm just saging the space, saging my creative space, welcoming in peaceful energy, clearing, clearing, clearing. I also like to begin with essential oils. So this is an intuition blend and it has some amethyst in it. So I like to put that on my pulse points, breathe it in. And what that does for me is that it brings me into my body. So it brings me in my body and it makes me present so that I can focus on my painting. And today I'm going to be holding my amethyst to connect to my intuition, to guide me and assist me and give me just that subtle energy um, that I'm needing right now. Okay, so I'm going to begin. this lesson, we're going to just paint some lines. So this is something that anybody can do. You don't have to be a quote unquote artist. If you're a beginner, this is a great lesson. Um, we're just going to kind of jump in and just make some, some simple lines and just play. Play with our materials. We're going to let the materials do the work for us. So usually when I paint, I, did, I never have a plan going in. Um, it just, you know, I walk up to my table, I say I'm going to paint some lines today. And I have no idea what colors I'm going to be pulling to do this. So I have my palettes here all set up. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to start with just this blue here. And what kind of lines do I want to paint? This is all about using your intuition. We're not worried about the outcome of our painting. We're just here for the process of painting. So I'm going to start here. And I think I'm going to make these swirly lines. I don't know why. I'm just That's just what I'm doing. And I have plenty of water on my brush. I'm going to change the color as I go. I'm not going to worry about making perfect lines. I'm going to use plenty of water. I'm going to have fun with the colors I pick. I'm just going to drip colors in there. then I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to just play. Make these swirly lines. Some of them will touch, some of them won't. It doesn't matter if they're too thick or too thin. It doesn't matter if there's a mistake there, what you may perceive to be a mistake. We're just playing, playing with the materials, letting the materials do the work for us. And at the end of this painting, it's going to be beautiful, no matter what happens. 
I'm going to play with putting in thinner lines and adjusting the color a little bit. Going in there and adding some more color. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some of this Prussian green color. Just like that. Remember, I never have a plan. I'm just going to play and see what happens. Let it touch in some areas. Just let it kind of flow out of me. I never know what color I'm going to pick. I just have my palette here just kind of ready to go. Going right through that one. And the reason why I did that is because that's what my intuition told me to do. Go right through, see what happens. Is there anything perfect about this line? No, there's not. You may even think that I'm making a mistake by doing that, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm always trusting the process. Always listening to the guidance. And it always turns out. So that one, you know, instead of keeping in line with this one up here, I'm starting to mix it up a little bit. I'm just going to go in and drip some water. Take some of that green. And <laughs> now I'm really playing. I'm really making something new and different. I'm not caring that it's perfect. I'm just experimenting. Dripping in some other colors. Making sure that my lines aren't perfect. Just remember that beauty is found in the imperfections of your paintings. Look at all that fun stuff that's happening. Okay, so I've been using all these greens and blues and they're so beautiful the way they're all mixing together, but I just had a flash in my head to grab purple. So I'm just grabbing some purple, putting some purple in there. Why? Because that's what I'm being called to do. Is it the best decision? I don't know. I guess we'll see. This is how I create. This is how I've created a successful business. By following my intuition and listening to the messages that I receive. Is it easy all the time? No. Does my analytical mind, my monkey mind, win sometimes? Absolutely. But the more I practice and the more I develop this style of painting, the more I'm able to quiet that monkey mind voice that's always telling you it's not good enough, that you're making mistakes. I've been able to quiet that. And I've been able to hear the voice of my intuition coming through. And I've been able to learn how to discern the difference. And the more I do that and I allow that to happen, the more magical the effects the more lessons I learn. The more 
I'm able to let go, create really beautiful things. No plan, just play. Trusting in the process. Trusting that no matter what happens, everything's going to be all right. Imagine. Imagine you're creating your art practice. It's peaceful. Imagine what that would be like. Imagine being able to silence that voice that is always judging that is super critical, that's holding you back. What would that be like? To have art just be a pleasure. This is healing work to me. This is how I make art a sacred practice. Look at all the beautiful effects and all the magic that happened in the process of letting go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.